How do you call a bad neighborhood in Italy? A spaghetto? What is up guys? So a key feature of virtual reality that is often undervalued is the audio. We know that VR allows us to visually be emerged in the scene, but the same is true for the sound. So in this video, we'll have a look at how to achieve immersive audio for VR in Unity by learning how to trigger a sound that we will be able to randomize with both volume and pitch and how to set up 3D audio that make it seems like the sound is coming from a real object in your scene. By the way, as always, the source code of this product is on my Patreon, so if you'd like to support my channel and have access to exclusive content like this tutorial about world grab movement, join us, link in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and just a little tip for you, use earphone for this tutorial, you are going to need it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside Unity in a small drum project that I'm working on. I've already set up a VR rig with two drumsticks to follow my hands, and as you can see, these drumsticks have a kinematic rigid body and a Collider and I also have collider that are set to is trigger is true on each drum part So my goal right now is to trigger an audio when I hit something So let's see how we can do this I'm going to select all of the drum part and add a new component that I will call play audio on trigger enter Now let's open this new script in this script I'm going to need three things first the public audio clip called clip which is the audio that I want to play when we hit something then a private private audio source called source, which is the source that I'm going to use to play the clip. As I want to add the audio source on the same object, we can access it at the start of the game using source equals get component audio source. Finally, the third element that I will need is a string called target tag. This will make sure that only the object with this tag will be able to trigger the audio. There you go. Now we don't need an update function, so I'm going to remove it and instead I'm going to add the on trigger enter method. As you might already know, this function is called when something is colliding with the trigger collider on this game object. So what we can do is check if the collider has the tag we want with if other.compare tag, target tag, and if it's the case, we can play the audio with source.play one shot clip. Perfect, now that it is done, let's go back to Unity. The first thing that we can do is add the audio source on each drum part. So let's select all of them, add an audio source. We don't want it to play on awake, so let's uncheck that. There you go. And now for the tag, I'm going to set the target tag on all of these components to drumstick. We can now assign this tag on our drumstick following our ends. So I'm going to click on tag, add tag, then on the plus button and call it drumstick. Then select both our stick and assign assign them this new tag. There you go. And now what's left for us to do is to set up the clip we want to be played when we hit something. So for this, I've already imported some drum sound that I found on freesound.org, link in the description. Now I'm simply going to drag each sound at the corresponding drum part. Perfect. Now let's click on play to try this. And there it is guys, as you can see it works. In just a few lines of code we managed to trigger audio when we interact with the drum set. This is awesome. But now let's see how we can improve this by making the sound more immersive. And as you can see, the clip plays at the same volume even when we hit it super slow. So the first thing that we can do is actually take the speed into account to play the audio clip. Now to get the speed of an object, there are of course multiple ways. Now we can access the speed of an object with multiple ways, but if if you follow this channel for a while, you know that something that I like to do is use this script right here, which is the Velocity Estimator script. In my case, I have already imported it in this project, but you will be able to find a direct link to download it in the description. Next, I'm going to add this script on both my drumstick and check the estimate on awake. Now that we can get the speed of the drumstick, let's use it on our audio trigger component. So back in the script, I'm going to add three new parameters. First one is a boolean called use velocity that we can use to say if we want to use the velocity or not. In my case, I will set it to true. Then two new public flow value called min velocity and max velocity. We can set the first one to zero and the other to two, for example. And so if the velocity is higher than max 
max velocity, the volume will be maximum and under min velocity, the volume will be at zero. So you can use this to tweak how the velocity influence the final volume. Next, just before playing the audio, we can get the velocity estimator component with velocity estimator, estimator equals other dot get component velocity estimator. And so if there is an estimator and that we want to use the velocity, we can get the velocity magnitude with float v equals estimator dot get velocity estimate dot magnitude. And next, as the volume is a value from 0 to 1, an easy way to know the corresponding volume based on where the velocity is between the range min velocity and max velocity is simply to do mat f dot inverse lerp min velocity max velocity v. And finally, play the audio clip with this time source dot play one shot clip volume. Oh, and in the case that we don't want to use the velocity, we can simply do as before, which is play one shot clip. Perfect. Now let's see how this works by going back to Unity and clicking on play. So as you can see, I can still trigger the sound, but now it is way much better. I can influence how loud it plays. This feels way more immersive already, but we can go a bit further and this simply by randomizing the sound that is playing. And let me show you how. So in real life, it's obviously impossible to reproduce the exact same sound when interacting with an object. So an easy way to create the same behavior in without using multiple audio clips is to actually randomize the pitch of an audio clip. So let me show you how. Back in the audio trigger script, I'm going to add again three new parameters. One is the public bool randomized pitch equals true. And then public float min pitch equals 0 0.8, public float max pitch equals 1.2. And now using these two values, we can create a random range that we can use when playing the clip. So just before calling play one shot, I'm going to see if randomize pitch. And if it's the case, I will do source.pitch equals random range min pitch max pitch. There it is. We can copy and paste this in the other play one shot that we have below. There you go. Now let's save and test this. And as you can see, it works pretty well. It is obviously not that noticeable, but it adds a bit more realism to the interaction. Now, there are some other ways that you can actually use the pitch to tweak the sound around the interaction. And another way is to actually use pitch audio curve to change the noise of a drawer being pulled, for example. You can find a great example of this in this really cool project made by Lucas Mephisto that you will be able to download in the description. But I will be quiet for a few seconds so that you will be able to hear the result. Okay, so next, another technique to make a sound more immersive is to make it feel like it's coming from somewhere in your scene. By default, when you think an audio source, you will hear this source the same when you are near or close of this object. And even more, when I rotate my head, I get the same exact volume on each ear. So like it's the case right now with this sphere that is playing a music in a loop. But you can actually change this quite easily with Unity using the audio source parameter. So let's go to the audio source on this sphere, playing some music, we need to go to the settings and here increase the spatial blend. This will say how much your position and head rotation influence the sound you hear. And then down below in the 3D sound settings, we can change the distance that are used to change the volume of this music. So in my case, I'm going to keep the min distance to one and set the max distance to five. And you can also play with the graph here to better tweak how the volume change based on the distance. Now let's click on play to try this. And just like that, as you can see, the sound change based on the distance and the rotation of my hand, and it really feels like the sound is coming from the sphere position. This is way too cool. Now, before finishing this video, I want to talk about a more advanced audio technique, which is a specializer.
No, as you know, the environment changed a lot the audio. Try shooting in a third or outside, for example. So a technique to make your sound more immersive is to actually take into account your environment. And to do this, we can actually use an audio spatializer. As made one called the Oculus Spatializer, which works for all VR headsets. And it also contains an audio manager to better manage how you play sound in your break. So if you guys are interested for me to make a tutorial about it, let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching this part i hope you guys had fun along the way and if you did you can leave a like and subscribe down below you can as always get the source code on my patreon the link is in the description as well as all of the resources that i mentioned in this tutorial so thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye